from my mm-hmm. campus placement i was placed in a company named hasdin technologies and Correct. i also gave interviews for postman later on i grabbed an off campus placement at browser stack Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas friends. I'm Kabir Singh and I have another awesome interview experience for you guys. So today we're going to talk to Harshit and we're going to understand how he actually cleared a company like Browser Stack. So I've heard they have around 5 rounds of interview. So let's discuss these rounds with Harshit and see how he was able to crack them. Hi Harshit, how are you doing? Hi Kabir, I'm doing fine. So Harshit, if you can quickly give me an introduction about yourself then we can get to know you a little and then we can start with the interview experience for you. Yeah, sure. So uh, my name is Harshit Pal and I am a graduate from Pranveer Singh Institute of Technology Kanpur from mm-hmm. 2021 batch okay. and from my mm-hmm. campus placement I was placed in a company named Hasdin Technologies uh-huh. and later on I grabbed an off campus placement at Browser Stack okay currently I am working there that's great that's great so coming on the rounds uh, how many rounds were there for uh, browser stack when we call for the interview yeah, so initially there was one screening round which happened mm-hmm. on hacker earth okay. and apart from that there were five interview rounds in total okay. okay so talking about the screening round how many questions were there can you tell us yeah so screening round happened on hacker rank and it consisted of three questions okay. they were basically medium or easy level dsa questions and it okay. was an open book so googling was also allowed so you just have to that's find great. your way through the question <laughs> that's great so moving on to the next five rounds of interview when we call The first round was it a video call round or that? In all the rounds were happened on Zoom or either Google Meet. Okay. And in the first round it was a machine coding round. First and mm-hmm. second round both were machine coding. Okay. So we were called in a batch of 8 for the first round uh-huh. and interviewer gave us a problem which was okay. based on development and not any DSA problem. Okay. Like we have to implement a back end server kind of solution. Okay. And for that we were given 2 hours and we were all sent into separate breakout rooms and we had to code our solution during that time okay so there was only one problem in the first round correct it was based okay. on development kind of thing. okay and moving to the second round how many problems were there in the second round second round was same there was one similar problem and we had to code it in 2 hours okay so moving from the screening round to the second round like how would you rate the difficulty of the screening round which happened on hacker screening round i would say it was very easy because okay. firstly the questions were not that tough Uh-huh. and second it was open book so we okay. could just google our way out that's great and moving to the first very round wherein you said you were given a development problem how much was the difficulty for that round i would say it was hard like if you have never done any development in your life then it would be very challenging for you okay. but i had done some projects in my college time so i was mm-hmm. able to clear it so you would say it was a hard round Yes. Moving on to the second round where in again you were given a similar development problem with 2 hours of time in a break room how much difficulty would you rate easy medium hard similar it was hard okay again was hard so talking about the third very round once you were done with the development part what was there in the third round third round was named engineering manager round in that mm-hmm. round our interviewer was an engineering manager that was okay. working at browser stack uh-huh. and mostly it revolved around my past experiences and also okay. as i was recent graduate mm-hmm. so they asked me about my college experience and all the works that i've done in college and mm-hmm. we also had a discussion on some of my personal projects okay so was it just a discussion kind of a round or did it have technical questions as well some things were technical like they asked about the technical details of my projects and also how i could implement it in a different way or how i can modify it and make it a bit more scalable so okay. the focus was mainly on building it from a personal project to mm-hmm. something that would be of big scale right okay so moving forward how much would you rate engineering manager round was it easy medium or hard i would say it was between medium and hard okay so there was no way you could have called it easy because i guess everything was from your resume or were the level of questions hard out there most of the questions were from my resume because mm-hmm. i had some very interesting projects in my resume so okay. the discussions mostly revolved around that but mm-hmm. one of my friend gave his round and he was our sum of dsa questions in, okay. during the engineering manager round correct correct hi there before we proceed further in the video i would like to inform you that coding ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called cnsat If you participate in this test you can avail up to 100% scholarship on any course at coding ninjas it can be DSA 
web development, product company interview preparation, and even data science and many more courses. So if you want to participate, click on the link in the description below, all the pinned comment and participate now. Happy learning guys. So moving to the fourth round, what was there in the fourth round after that? Yeah, the fourth round was taken by someone who is at a level of director at Browser Stack. Okay. It was more like a high level system design round and it was uh -huh. really very difficult. I okay. could answer like half of them only. Oh, okay. But answering half of them, still you got selected for the last round. Correct. correct. Oh, I was okay. basically a recent graduate and also I was applying for the software engineer role and uh -huh. they do not have that high expectations to answer all of them correctly. They just check if you have a bit of idea and if you can be trusted right. with learning more about it while you work. Correct. Since you're just a graduate, they, you know, expect more of a learner than a person who can actually code because I guess getting into the company, you'll start learning everything once the time comes. Correct. correct. Okay. And then moving to the final round, what was there in the final round after that? Final round was more like HR and fitment round. They strictly told us that there would not be any technical questions and okay. they were more like behavioral questions to okay. understand you apart from technical knowledges. They want the to understand kind of more about it. Yes, yes. Okay. Like what do you want to join browser stack mm -hmm. and other okay. kind of things like. Correct. So Harshit, if I ask you a question that in every HR round, they always ask a question, which is tell me something about yourself, right? I guess that's the very first question of every interview round. So what would be Correct. your way of answering it? Because since you're working in a company like browser stack, we would like to know how you answer that question so that we, our juniors can actually learn on how we can, you know, frame our answers towards that question. Yeah. So what I usually do is first I give an introduction about myself like okay. my name and all my qualifications and from which batch I am in they can get a bit of understanding like what is my experience level after mm -hmm. that if I have done any internship or any personal projects I try to tell about them so that if any next questions they have it could be guided into that direction that I know about like I tell them that I have done some certification projects in XYZ technology. So right. basically the next question usually comes out around these technologies only. And okay. I already have a bit of idea of them. So course of interview goes towards path that I'm more comfortable in. Okay. That's really nice. And one last question that I have for you is that what is that one recommendation that you would like to give all your juniors or the people watching this video that they should follow to get a good company placement or some mistake that you did and you don't want others to repeat the same mistake can you tell us some of that one thing that i did not know during my college time was mm -hmm. i used to believe that the companies only hire based on dsa okay. so i was not very good in dsa so during my campus time i was from a tsa college and none of the big product based companies come for dsa Correct. they come into our college mm -hmm. so i applied it a bit off campus and i used to get <clears> shortlisted <throat> but their dsa round was very tough so i could not get into the further rounds. Correct. So when I joined my first company, that was HDN, and mm -hmm. one of my teammates at that time, we were basically interns. So one of my friends there just asked me that, why don't you go into some product based companies? So okay. I just told him the same thing that I'm not very good in DSA. So I usually get kicked out in their interview. Mm -hmm. So he told me that there are many companies that don't focus much on DSA and more on development. And right. he gave an example <clears throat> of Postman. Okay. Like a postman used to visit his college and their all rounds were basically revolved around React and all those technologies and they focus very less on DSA. Correct. So from there, I got to know that there is one more path to crack product-based companies right. that is through development. And Correct. I also gave interviews for Postman, but I was rejected in the last time. Okay. That's not a problem since you're working at Browser Stack now. And that's really nice. Yeah. I really thank you, Harshit, for giving us such a good interview experience. I hope the people watching this may be, you know, using this as a help for uh, their further interviews. And I hope to shoot a pretty good video again with you pretty soon. So thank you so much for uh, joining us at Coding Ninjas. And guys, also Harshit has written an article on his interview experience. I would be putting the link in the description below. So you can have a look and you can also read the interview experience out with all the problems and all. And then you can solve those problems on Code Studio as well. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding, guys. Hi there. We hope you liked the video and had fun learning. I would like to inform you that Coding Ninjas has come up with a scholarship test called CNSAT. If you participate in this test, you can get up to 100% scholarship on any course at Coding Ninjas. It can be DSA, web development, product companies, interview preparation, and even data science and many more courses. So if you want to avail this opportunity, click on the link in the description below or the pinned comment and participate in the test now. Happy learning, guys.